Hello everyone, and welcome to my first Minecraft video. Um, I decided to do this because I want to show off some of my stuff that I've been doing. Um, I would like to welcome you to what's going to end up being a uh, server world, actually. Um, currently nicknamed Robin Lude's Wonderland. Specifically, let's go visit the floating city of Azran. First we have to hit this switch, and uh, then we come in here. Um, I do have single player commands on, so we're just going to skip climbing all these ladders um, for the moment. Fly up, and uh, here's the main entrance tunnel. Pass through here, and uh, we've got some torches lighting our way down to this land bridge, which leads us up to the main gate, um, which says, Welcome to the city of Azran. Get off, cow. Um, here's our little sidewalk here. Um, I gotta thank uh, Chimney Swift 11 for uh, giving me some of the idea for doing his tutorials. Gave me some of the ideas for uh, actually building this place. I had a uh, basic idea of what I wanted to do, but I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do until I started watching some of his tutorials. Um, here we have the visitor center. Um, this is gonna be a good first stop for anybody. Uh, crafting table, and right here we have uh, clocks and uh, the com all the components for maps, um, 64 of each. That way, if uh, you know you want to come in here and get yourself a map and a clock, um, you can go in and just grab one for free. It won't cost you anything. Um, if we go back here, actually, um, I'll, I'll show you where that mine track go cart track goes here in a minute. But uh, this is the Atron Fishing Lodge. It's got a little dock and a small little, uh, well, basically a mini pool. But uh, still a good spot for fishing. Um, if we actually go in this guy, um, we've got our nice fighter mural and uh, some couches. Um, here's a bed, a bed for sleeping. Um, some more photos. Um, go over here, we've got a crafting table and a furnace. So that you can, you know, build stuff and uh, cook any fish you catch. Um, I've got a nice little mini garden out here. I still need to replant another rose, though, to make it as good as I want it. Um, if we go down here, we've got a storage area full of fishing rods and uh, coal for cooking, along with all the components needed to make more fishing rods in case uh, this ends up not being enough. It's a lot easier doing it that way for me than just uh, making a whole bunch of fishing rods. Um, plus, that ends up making more than I could have put in the chest already pre-built. Um, if we go back up here, we've got the uh, visitor's garden, which is just a nice little garden I built. Um, shot out here from the side. Um, and you can, if you want to harvest the cactus, as long as you leave the bottom one, that's fine. Um, if we go over here, uh, we've got the garden side bar. I left the door open last time I was in here. But uh, here we'll have, uh, once it gets multiplayer, I'll probably get somebody to run the counter here. Um, selling different foods, and yes, there are golden apples in here, um, but selling different foods. Uh, I've also got coal in here so we can cook up stuff if you've got it, um, crafting table and stuff. If you've got the ingredients, we can craft something up for you. Um, and then this is the empty chest that we'll be taking the trades for. Um, if we go up here, got a nice little, you know, viewing area where you can see out over the world, some of the world, along with a good look, different angle at the garden. Um, just fly over here. Uh, gave me the inst showed me the idea of how to do this, and I figured I'd go ahead and throw it on. Um, eventually, once it's ser server ready and everything, we'll figure out something to do cool with that. Um, then up here we've got our trams. Um, this one actually goes all the way back to that city gate. I just haven't thrown the minecart back this way. Um, and here I've got some extra minecarts in case you know they break or you know you want to take one. I'll end up probably filling that up before it goes server. And then this is the beeline to the Great Cavern. And again, I uh, seem to have forgotten, so we'll just take a uh, little side trip off here um, since I've got the fly on. Um, oh, another cool thing is thanks to, I guess, the lighting from up here, I've got this entire mushroom garden down here. And uh, I don't plan on doing anything with it, so once it's server ready, this is a free range mushroom patch that anybody can harvest from. Um, so anyway, the tram will go this way, and it will um, take you all the way to a place I call the Great Cavern. 
which is just going to be like a uh, open area, whoever wants to mine from it can type deal. Um, cool little tree design I figured, I thought I'd do just to make it a little more interesting. Get off my rail pig. Um, you also notice nothing's dropping anything, that's just uh, something else I decided to do um, while I've been running around building just so I didn't clog my inventory. Um, and this is the great cavern, I haven't done a whole lot of explore exploring with it. And uh, apparently we've got some friends down here, so let's uh, knock him out real quick while I uh, go through. But uh, yeah, it's just this big old cavern. And as I said, I haven't done a whole lot with it. So let's actually hop out of here before anything else decides it wants to say hi. Um, I actually don't have it on peaceful right now while I'm showing you this. I probably should. Um, yeah, here's that first tram I talked about. And uh, kick that back over there. Um, then we'll go ahead and take this just because it's fun. Uh, as long as my minecart's still there, I didn't see it. Yeah. Must have gotten stuck somewhere along the trail. I guess I didn't have the boosters right or it ran into an animal or something. So I didn't get all the way back to where it's supposed to be. Unless uh, something decided to knock it out, which I'm sure is completely possible. But, um, so yeah, this is uh, Azran. I'm definitely going to make sure this is, you know, up on the server. This will be a big community hub. I figure we can get people together and just, you know, hang out and trade. It'll be a nice little hub for people who are exploring to come back and, you know, resupply and things like that. And now the, mi okay, must have missed it being there or something. But, uh, so there are my mine carts. Um, so that's this. And then there's one other place I'm going to show you. Uh, a couple other places nearby. I've got, uh, this little cave that I'm going to end up doing some stuff with. Right now it's kind of basic, just filled in. And then, uh, if we actually go down over here, I'm going to introduce you to my underwater Pueblo. Um, again, Chimney Swift gave me the idea for this. And I really appreciate his uh, videos. He's got some great stuff. I'll probably put an annotation up so you, can, you guys can go check it out too. But uh, we go down here, and uh, nothing in here yet too special. I'll probably do some underground work, but I've just got a Donkey Kong picture for now. But uh, yeah, this is the basic design. I've got this double door system just because I like the way it looks. So. Um, I'll always make sure that outside door is open though, so you don't have to spend too much time underwater. Um, and then we're going to go to um, the Bastion. And uh, I'm going to show you guys this thing real quick. Um, this is the Bastion outside. I've got... Uh, it's taking a minute to load. But uh just got this blinker circuit because I could. Um, and then this was another a failed project because... Uh, now the old school minecart booster system no longer works. Um, so there's rails, minecarts that you can take from here. Um, and then over here there's a free crafting table where you can take or use. Same with all this. It's completely scrappable. Um, then we go up here. And this is the actual, this is the vault. Um, it's got a locking door system. So at night you can lock the door and keep other people out and creatures out. Um, this is actually cool. I'm proud of myself for this. Uh, we've got this big empty hall. Oh, crap. Seems I'll have to switch on on the other side again. So I'll have to go to one of the other entrances to get in the rest of the bastion. So we'll just fly up over here. I'll probably end up making some other ways to get to these other entrances at some point. As of right now, I really don't. So let's go into the, uh, this door. Probably end up making them all locking, but, um... So let's show you what this does now. So you've got that big empty hall. Pop that switch. And voila. Stairs and an opening. Um, I'm going to leave that open and just close it from the other side. Um, then we go back over here. I'm going to add ladders to this, of course. But uh got an armory and sleeping quarters. Um, this is actually... I'm proud of myself for this because... Carved this out of a solid chunk. Um, so we go in here. We've got ourselves uh, some crafting tables. Upstairs, I've got a chest that I'm going to fill with weapons and armor. And uh, so about four beds. I'll probably add at least a couple more. Um, so there's that. And then go back out. And 
up, go through here. Um, this is act this is a little hallway. Um, I'm gonna end up building more probably in this area, just because I've got space. Um, go down the stairs. We've got the minecart station, which I'll show you where all it goes and everything in a minute. And yeah, I'm sure you've noticed the uh, minerals and stuff lying around since I haven't needed them while I've been building. I haven't taken them, so again, free range as long as you replace them with some kind of stone. In here, I've got uh, some chests and crafting tables for free. Um, I'm gonna add some more stuff to this. It's gonna be a storage room. End up adding some more. Um, back here is my uh, lava mine. I'm gonna close it off more later on once I'm done. But uh, again, there's plenty of mineral, some mineral, some coal and stuff here and there uh, that I haven't grabbed. And I'm gonna end up going back through here and just building this out more. Um, and I've just got. I'm gonna make sure this trail's a little safer before I upload this to a server. Um, and then f let's see. Oh, and then we've go um, out here. There's just another entrance with this nice natural waterfall. Um, I've got to do some more exploring that way, but uh, there's just some cool stuff. And then up here, um, I've got my minecart station. Um, in here, I've got a whole bunch of fr iron uh, torches, other minecart parts. Um, and then I've got my uh, red line to the, my deep sea fortress, which I'll probably put on another video because I don't think I've got time on here. And then just as a little cool thing, if we go up here, um, I've actually got this nice little, uh, this fun little mini roller coaster built that goes all the way around and ends right there. I'm going to end up connecting it so you can just, you know, hop off, um, pick the minecart up, throw it back over here for other people. Um, and just go from there. Um, so that's how this works. And, uh, I guess that's all for now. I will be back probably later tomorrow. Um, I haven't decided yet with another video, um, detailing the, uh, Deep Sea Fortress and some of the other places I've made. So, uh, until next time.